Hello, my sweet Pisces. This is Mr. Jen, and I'm here with your daily read. Um, I said that in Leo's too. Not daily reading, your 2021 year ahead reading. This is a general read. It's not going to resonate with everybody. Um, take what does, leave the rest. And this is going to be a very in-depth reading. Um, the, most of the readings on that I've done with the rest of the Zodiac already have been over 20 minutes, a majority. Okay, so... You want to stick with me to the till the end because I am going to do my overall analysis. I'm going to break it down into different sections, different topics, and we are also going to do a timeline. First quarter, second quarter, third quarter, and fourth quarter of 2021 of energies that you can expect. Okay, so let's go ahead. Um, I was just giving these a quick shuffle here. And quick cut. And I want to get these shuffled. I did some pre-shuffling, obviously, on screen. But I'm going to give these a couple last shuffles here. Okay. Okay, we have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Cups. The Devil. This is like getting in the way here. My Okay, it's so for me to get these cards up here high enough because I haven't have enough room. Five of Pentacles. And we have the Prince of Cups. Uh, High Priestess, the Tower, the Empress, the Strength, the Five of Swords, um, Ten of Pentacles. Um, as I'm going, this the first thing I, I the first thing I can't that I thought of is be careful of some shocking news of somebody being pregnant. That you never expected. Okay. And I will dig into that in a minute here. Not at, that's not that message is not for everybody, but there is somebody that has to be aware of a pregnancy or even a fake pregnancy. Okay. Uh, first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter. I already see where this is going. Your your focus is going to be on your love life for sure and relationships. Six of Swords um, underneath the deck. The need to move forward. Okay. Um, the need to bring about stability and balance. Okay. We have a scenario here of somebody that may be lying. They, some of you, they're, whether they are really truly pregnant, I feel as though that there is some kind, something hidden here that they are they may be hiding the truth about a pregnancy. Okay. Now, with that said, um, there is seems to be the sense of challenges and competition here. There seems to be a sense of maybe even um, a lot of disruption, per se. And I feel as though that, you know... If you are a male, um, there seems to be a male out here. You might not be baby daddy, okay? Um, but we're going to get into this. We're going get to get into how you handle that if you find out that you're not the baby's daddy, okay? For others of you, there may be somebody setting up a trap trying to say they're pregnant when they're really not. For others of you, there is no pregnancy at all, okay? But there is a few that's dealing with a few people dealing with a pregnancy. Um, some of you may be dealing with a loss of a child also. Something that you did not see coming that might be in the spiritual world now. That's for another set of people. I see so many storylines going on here that it's like blowing my mind. But let's get down to the nitty gritty for the general. Okay. Um, okay. We have the Queen of Pentacles energy from... Um, 2020, 
Uh, we have somebody who's very nurturing. We have somebody down to earth and patience. Um, this is coming to some sort of understanding um, in regards to, okay, patience, slowing down, not rushing things. That is what energy you were bringing in from 2020. We got the Queen of Pentacles again. This is screaming, patience, 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 don't rush. And the lesson that, and which leads to what you had to learn is the Seven of Cups. You know, you ran into something not knowing what it was, and there's been a sense of confusion. You have a lot of options open to you. And I feel as though not making a decision based on emotions, okay? You might be feeling stuck. Un in 2020, you were feeling un feeling stuck and unable to make any sort of decision. It's like this sense of cloudiness. Things were unclear. You did not feel as though that you were in a position to make a justified or a a proper decision about a situation. And then your focus, the devil card. Okay, I have to draw more cards on that because I know that your goal, well, this is your goal, not your focus. This is your goal. You're not looking to get tied up in something toxic. I know that, Pisces. But you are, so you, your goal is to break free of something that was toxic and I feel like this could be a divorce and you standing up and persevering and moving forward and progressing with it. This is your goal is to move forward and progress through a separation of somebody that may have been toxic to you. Okay. That is your focus or focus. That is your goal. Okay. Um, and what is driving you is that this connection may be bleeding you dry. Um, there's a sense of, uh, of there is definitely a change that is, there's a financial change that is driving this, that you need, you need to break out of this. You need to break free. You feel challenged. You feel stuck. You, there's all kinds of blockages up for keeping you from moving forward. And because of those blockages that kept you from moving forward, it's driving you to get the wheel going to end this separation or this divorce, whichever it is. Um, and you are being challenged with, um, they are trying to come back to you. And um, I feel a return. This person you're trying to separate from is presenting an obstacle of, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for what I've done. Can I, I know I left you high and dry, but can I please come home? I would like to make this up to you. And, you know, and it might put some ideas into your head and might make you start planning for their return. Okay. However, when we move into your relationship status here, um, we're seeing that there are, th there are secrets that you need to trust in your intuition in this. Over here, it feels like you're turning that intuition off. But over here, it's like you need to trust in that intuition. There's definitely something hidden here. Like there is still somebody else lingering in the background. Um, if it, They definitely want to come back. They want this connection. They want this reunion. But you need. But there's something hidden behind the scenes regarding this that um, you need to take some time alone first and really analyze things. Really think about it before you jump. Uh, finances. Okay, you're going to have a breakthrough in your finances. It feels like in 2021, you feel like the, everything is crashing down financially around you. This is finances. This could be work-related. But let me tell you, that you may have crashed. Things might be falling apart, but you this is lining you up to build something more solid. Yes, there you go. You there There may be a crash in finances. That is why you are trying to get break free of this toxic person. Then they are trying to come back. But your overall energy with your finances, and it is, it is interlinked with your personal relationships, let me tell you. But you, you're looking for that sense of completion, that sense of stability here. And the tower falling down is going to be a blessing in disguise because it's going to allow you to level up and move into another direction. It's going to allow you to, to become more secure. Um, your health-wise, the Empress, she is very abundant. 
health-wise. It feels like your health, for the most part, is in good condition. But her symbol is pregnancy. So this is where I got the fact that somebody could be pregnant. Okay? Just be aware of that. And they may be, and this person might come, whether this is somebody you're trying to break a free from that's going to try to pull the pregnancy card. Um, and they may not be totally truthful about this pregnancy. Either one, they're not pregnant. Or two, it's not your child. It's not that somebody else is the father. Or health-wise, if you're not the woman, or if you're not the man dealing with a, a woman that's pregnancy, if you're the woman that's pregnant, you know, they're... Um, I think it's going to come as a shock and a surprise. I don't think it was something that was planned. For others of you, this could be weight loss, a need to lose weight, uh, hitting a milestone. Some of you might be hitting a milestone in your health also, but this might be a point in time where you hit a, a milestone could be positive or negative or neutral. I think that what I'm feeling here is somebody stepping on the scale and they're seeing the number on it, and they're coming to this realization, okay, okay, I'm, I'm healthy overall, but that could change. I need to change my habits. And yes, and educating. I think you're going to become educated as far as proper eating habits and losing weight. That's, the, that's for a, a lot of people. Other people, this is somebody educating themselves or, no, or um, learning something, Hitting a milestone that they've, they're learning something about health. Okay. Could be even about women's health. Okay. So this is kind of like the overall energy. Not, I don't see health problems. Even if I did, I really couldn't call them out next to, I could say, well, you might have an issue here or an issue there. You're going to want to go see a physician just to make sure. Okay. Because like I said, this is a general read. This is not going to resonate. This health thing is not going to resonate with everybody. Okay. Spiritual, your spiritual life. It's very strong. You have a very strong belief system in place. You know what you believe and you stick to your belief system and you hold it very close to you. Um, and it is continuing to grow and you continuing to evolve. Okay, down here. Um, your focus, five of swords, energy here. Change. Change is uh, where your focus is. Okay, your goal is this. Your focus is down here. You're focusing on um, changing everything. Changing, I think, everything around you. I'm looking at this Five of Swords. I'm seeing these dead trees. Somebody's lying on the ground. They feel dead. They feel defeated. Okay. Um, you know, this is kind of, your goal is to come out of this defeated attitude. You need to focus on that. And focus on prosperity and manifesting that and having faith that things are going to improve. That's where your focus needs to be in 2021. It's about having that faith, leveling up, knowing that things are going to improve. Even if at the time of this reading or the beginning of the year, you feel defeated. This is about overcoming that defeated attitude. And the lesson is that you've got 10 of Pentacles twice. There's, there is a lesson here that... Through manifestation, through positive attitudes, you become abundant, and don't and <clears throat> the and you and this is about taking off the blindfold and seeing your options before you. Even if there are difficult decisions regarding your stability, this it, your lesson is you have to make these these um, difficult decisions in order to have victory and see clarity. Because remember, we had the seven of um, the seven of cups up here. Okay, energy coming in from 2020. Well, you got the clarity card here. So as you work your way through 2021, you know, you're going to come a, a sense of clarity, a sense of victory. You're going to be overcoming a lot of obstacles. But a lot of it is based on the decisions and choices that you make. Okay, king of wands here. <clears throat> you um, as, a, as a direction that 2021 is headed and into 2022 is the overall direction is going to be focus. This is having a mass, a mastering and a something, mastering your emotions, using your life experience to your benefit, um, and making the necessary changes to avoid, you know, even if you feel alone, embracing that aloneness 
And if we, we got another card of change here, you know, this is embracing the change, not partaking in competition. If you allow yourself to be part of competition, you're going to lose. This is about being in control, be, you being in power, empowering yourself and going in a new direction, following your passions and moving forward and starting a brand new start. So all this you're dealing with is things I feel that have lingered on from 2020 that are still kind of hanging out in 2021. But there are ways that you are dealing in, different ways of handling things. Yes, there are some changes that are occurring. There are improvements on the financial end of things, which, uh, which is going to improve your stability here. But there is an ex that's hanging around that is, you know, you're going to be dealing with this ex like, unless you make a conscious change and a decisive decision about this ex, you know, this is not written in stone. You can make, this can all change with the decisions that you make. But your current path is this X is going to stick around. And, you know, it's not, it's going to be a while before you finally make the decision to cut the ties. Okay. Over here, first quarter is five of wands. We've got five of wands here. So this could be energy from the first quarter as well and ending with this energy. Uh, five of Wands is the competition, and it is also change. Um, there could be a lot of arguments going on in the first quarter, uh, but this is you manifesting change. That you, you have the power to change things. You have the power to, to break away from the, the toxic energy, yes, and end it. You have the power to end it. So you could be taking things into your own hands and ending a situation in the first quarter. Okay. So the X could actually go away in the first quarter. January, February, March. But there's definitely some sort of transformation that's taken place and you've manifested this. Okay. Because you're tired of the fighting. You're tired of the arguing. Okay. Um, there could be a transformation in this relationship. Uh, I don't know if... Some of you may have been trying to manifest this person back in your life and it's coming to pass and you're like, and there are red flags that you need to pay attention to. It's almost like, be careful what you wish for Pisces. Okay. Second quarter, five of cups, uh, five, 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 you got fives all over this spread, all over this reading between these two. An angel number for you to look up Pisces is five, five, five. It is a big change, a big transformation. Fives also bring challenges. So you have some emotional challenges that you are dealing with in the second quarter, probably because of the ending in the first quarter. Okay, you, you may feel regretful. Maybe you are regretting letting this person go. Or once you let this person go, they may be coming back and regretting what they have done to cause this ending. And we had the five of cups or five, five of cups up here somewhere else too. It's a very strong energy. It's a very, it's a, somebody who's very regretful, who's there, feels sorry. Um, yeah, we have um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here. This is somebody who is trying to get a grip and master their emotions here. Um, this is somebody who is over, I feel like overly caring, but needs to turn within and care about themselves. And this, I feel this is somebody, this is about bringing about healing. And this has definitely been a learning experience here. This could be that person who is trying to come back with an apology. Um, but you're ready to end the struggles. You're ready to drop this load and responsibilities. Um, third quarter, we have the lover's card. We have a soulmate connection. Two energies coming together. It could also be a decision in love, a decision between two. You know, there, I said the ex was hanging out the whole entire year. This, it may be an on and off thing with them. Um, there's she, there's the, um, there's this queen. There is that we have the queen of wands energy here. This is somebody who's very persistent, very determined. Okay. And you might have to make some kind of decision with this. Uh, they leave seven of cups energy again in the third quarter. You had it and that same energy coming into 2021. And here it is coming back in 20, in the third quarter of 20 or 2020 coming back here again in the 2021. Um, 
you know, you've got... I know what I want to say, but I'm not going to say it. But I just, I'm going to just tell you what the energies are here. But you have this energy returning here. Um, yeah, promising you the world. She's going to be very... This She or he got queen energy here. A lot, very feminine energy, um, but it doesn't have to be. It's not male. It's not gender specific, but we have somebody here that is saying that they're willing to put the nurturing in. They are. They're opening their heart to you. They're sorry. They love you. But there's also this energy of needing to move on from this. So you have the decision of trying to give them another chance, yet again, or moving on. Um, we got Eight of Cups energy in the fourth quarter and this is kind of carrying on and all these field cups i'm feeling that is filled with broken pro broken promises here from the same type of energy that i feel that somebody who is very determined and very passionate um maybe even controlling and demanding and i think that this is an energy of you finally coming to realize by the end of 2021 that this definitely is not for me um, and you are go going into 2022 with a new attitude you are finally in the third fourth quarter rather drop towards dropping this this is moving on from this energy and moving forward in another direction and i feel as though that officially it's on your mind what you're questioning you're making the decision whether you're going to try it or not and then a fourth quarter i think it's done i think you are finally at your wits end and you're finally leaving behind the, the emotional blockages you're finally leaving behind the broken promises and you're moving forward you're leaving the baggage in 2021 and you're not taking it with you in 2022 okay um let's get some oracle cards here all that glitters this is something isn't what it seems. I said something hidden in a relationship. You know, we've got lies and deception. And you're finding out that, you know, a lot of broken promises, promises that were made that somebody didn't fulfill. Somebody was wearing a mask trying to get your attention. Okay. Um, and you just had this deep knowing. That was your intuition speaking to you about this relationship. Your 2021 is so filled about this relationship. It has taken precedence. And I feel spirit is saying that you got to keep that from distracting you from your um, stability. I feel you are, you know, the positive is that you have a lot of spiritual strength growing spiritually. You are going to become more financially stable. But I feel like it has to all boil down to the decisions that you make. You got to trust that intuition. You know, you got to see through the mask, see through all the, the glitter, because that's all it is. It's just little bits of glitter. It's not gold. Okay. Underneath is, is an empty shell. And that is what you need to realize. And when you realize that, consider this Pisces a, be, a being informed and forewarned so that you can make the appropriate adjustments so that you don't find yourself stuck, so that you don't find yourself carrying a heavy burden and getting sucked in and derailed on your path okay so i feel that this is definitely the ball in your court that you have to recognize things for what they are you have to take off the mask we had the two of swords here we have it twice and that is somebody being blinded to the truth blocking the truth out because they don't want to see it but the truth is going to be staring you straight in the face and i feel that's a lesson that you're learning in 2021 to you know be open to the truth, even if it hurts. You know, time heals all wounds. You know, to rip off that band-aid, see the truth, and bleed so that you can start healing. Um, trust. You know, you have to kind of... Trust is going to be an issue here with this relationship. You cannot trust this person. And don't stop moving forward. Don't stop for this person and turn back. The angels are saying you've got to keep on going on your path. Don't, don't stop for this person. That is the guidance from the angels here. Okay? And, and putting your trust in your, in your divine guidance, not putting your trust in this person, this ex of yours. 
Okay, so I know this wasn't the easiest. This is reading, not going to be the easiest year. But like I said, you have the ability to make changes by the decisions that you make. Okay, this is it. I love you all. And thank you for tuning in. And I will see you next time and blessed be.